In this video I'm going to continue with the axle boxes, add a lubrication system and axle box covers. The axle boxes need some freedom to rock slightly, so I'm filing on some clearance. I've just temporarily put a 10mm bar through there and that's the sort of play we've got on the axle boxes to allow for movement on the track I think that's enough, I don't know for sure I will be consulting my friends at the track to see what they think OK this is one of the main axle boxes and this is the bottom of the axle box and I've machined a recess in here on the CNC and I've also put a slot in the bottom which goes right through the bearing for reasons that will be revealed we need to solder a little brass strip into the bottom of there to cover up that slot so I'm just going to drop in a couple of bits of solder this is flux cord solder and we'll Drop that in and warm it up. Leave that to cool off. So I've milled a little pocket in the top of the axle box to act as kind of an oil well and I'm just fitting some little pieces of uh, copper tube so these are 2mm diameter with a 1.5mm bore so we're going to experiment a little bit with the method to lubricate the bearing so I'm going to lock tight these in going to put a bit of bar in the bow of the bearing just to make sure it doesn't go too far down that should be fine there okay looks good so I got this idea from Emma when I was uh, attending one of her uh, live streams that's Emma's spare room machine shop so the idea is to put um, a piece of wire inside this uh, copper pipe and when you fill this uh, cavity with oil the idea is that uh, capillary action will draw the oil down through the copper pipe and onto the bearing at whatever rate that might be. Um, my guess is the rate will depend upon the thickness of the wire. So this is a wire that I've prepared. It's a bit rough but I've prepared for this one. So I'll just put that in. It's a bit tricky. So it's important that the wire does sit on the bottom of the cavity there. So this one has 0.25mm wire, this has 0.35mm wire and this has 0 0.5 So I'm going to fill those with oil, stick it in a plastic container. I'm going to fill those with oil and see if any of them actually move the oil through the copper pipe. and if so how quickly so this is a 50% ISO 32 light machine oil uh, mixed with 50% uh, rapeseed oil to thin it down a bit so I'll just fill that 
right to the top okay we'll see what happens so it's actually been an hour and a half and the 0.5 wire is dry so it's completely emptied the 0.35 wire it's gone down but it's still about half full the 0.25 wire I'm not sure about that one it, it seems like it hasn't gone below the tops of the uh, tubes but we'll leave it and see what happens okay so it's been two and a half hours so um, the 0.25 one now is all used up pretty much this yeah it's all used up and the 0.25 there's just a little bit in the bottom pretty much used up when you look at some photographs of the full size engine you can see that the axle boxes have a thin cover they also have a couple of holes presumably to allow for filling with oil I cut the covers out on the CNC I'm using a 0.3mm engraving cutter the brass sheet is 0.5mm thick Drilling the axle boxes for 12 by uh, threaded holes. So I'm just eyeballing this and going by feel. So if I just start it off by hand. and just feel what's happening with the tap it pretty much just lines up with the hole obviously if it's misaligned it will break very easily so that's about it there find the right square and just carefully check it, it looks alright So we need some little 12 by screws to fix on the axle box covers so I've got some quite long ones here so I'm just making these uh, 2.5mm long so I've made up a little jig that I'll screw these into bit of 12 ba studying for some future job try not to lose it see if we can get that lined up where that's the first one
that's the second. Flying along now. That's the third. There we go. Looks just a job. So as I mentioned earlier I've got a slot in the bottom of the bearing here so the idea there is to fit in some felt and it needs to be compressed in there and it needs to be in contact with the uh, shaft and it'll hold oil and the idea is that it'll just keep the bearing and the shaft lubricated nice and evenly over the surface so it's going to be a bit tricky to put that in there but we'll give it a try That's perfect. Two pieces should do it. Yeah, I think that's good. I'll try and get a closer picture. I've got a 10 millimeter shaft here that I have inserted into one side of the axle box. Hopefully you can see the felt being compressed into its slot. Once that felt is saturated with oil, it should help keep the bearing nicely lubricated. So that's what they look like when they're installed on the engine. And we've got two holes which I can use to put an oiler in and fill up with oil. Looks okay. So there's a hole through the frame through which a uh, push rod goes, which is connected to the spring above it, and then onto the axle box. And I've forgotten to uh, drill the hole for that push rod to go through to bear against the axle box surface at the bottom of the oil well. So we'll have to do that. But at least we've got a, a drill guide. Well, that looks okay. Thanks for watching, see you next time.